Welcome to Embarrassed Training Solutions. Today we're gonna to cover the FATS 100 Bell. Here's an example of the hardware that it's comprised of. You have your instructor station. It comes in this mil spec case, shock proof. It contains our simulation PC, our keyboard and mouse to operate. You're obviously instructor control screen. On the front side, we have the projector, your hit detection camera that tracks all your shots, your flashlight camera that allows for the use of handheld and or weapon mounted flashlights. And then you have your sound system, which is the two speakers that we have down here. Basically what you do is you set it up in the classroom. All you need is 13 by 15 setup as far as your space that you need. Ideally you want 13 by 20 or 25 to be comfortable, but you can use any dual purpose classroom. Put it in, it takes about 15 minutes to set up, 15 minutes to tear down, take it back out and you're training. Again, the FATS 100 mil comes in a simple case. When you set it up like this, it comes for one screen, five shooters in marksmanship. And basically what it does is you could also network it with another system. Let's say you want a higher throughput and you want to use 10 lanes. All you do is you network a second system together with that second screen in conjunction that gives you 10 lanes of marksmanship. Let's say you need a little bit more throughput. We can add a third system together. Most of the large military units that have that higher throughput or those schoolhouse trainings that we have, you can add a third system network together that makes it a three screen setup that allows for 15 shooters in marksmanship training. That is overall what consists of the FATS 100 mil in this portable case. You can also hard mount it into the classroom or dedicated room that you might have, whether you put the projectors in the ceiling and move the instructor control stations out of the way and have a free floor for your marksmanship training. The marksmanship application works exactly the same way on the FATS 100 LE and the FATS 100 mil. In this configuration right here, it's showing us three targets, meaning three lanes per this, per this screen. We can actually do all the way up to five lanes per screen. We can add a second screen and or a third screen for 10 or up to 15 lanes, again, in both the FATS 100 LE and the FATS 100 mil. We're gonna show you a little bit of a demonstration of a zero course for the rifle. Nick, come on up and shoot a three round group. Again, the system is smart. The system knows where the firing line is and it knows that this is that target and wherever I place that target, whether it's at 25 meters, 100, 300, 500 meters, it will shrink that target down to the exact same size that it's supposed to be at that distance. And obviously we have the ballistic software also incorporated into it. So it knows that that M4 is a 5.56 millimeter. It knows the trajectory and the ballistics and it applies them into that virtual world. So it's very realistic when it comes to fit, form and function and actual accuracy through the ballistics. The next thing that we're gonna show you is a Zero using a simulated pistol. This is the M18 currently used by the US Air Force and certain other units in the Marine Corps and so on and so forth. We also have the M17, which it's, it's full length version for the simulator. Nick will be showing us a three round course of fire. He will actually be using a holographic working optic on there as well. Nick. There you go, two rounds, show us a shot placement. The weapon system again is smart. It will lock back to the rear, forcing that student to actually do his reload and continue to fire if the course continued that way. This course ended at that round count, so we can actually do a automatic zero using our software on the system. If you can watch the screen, you will see different colors on here. The green is gonna be five seconds worth of trace. That is your acquiring the target, aligning your sights, your sight alignment sight picture, and the student actually honing in onto the target. We can actually play this in real time, or we can actually slow it down. So for this purpose, we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna press play. You're gonna see the student come onto the target. He's gonna find his sights. Then he's gonna squeeze the trigger. You're gonna see a small pink line and then a blue one. I'll go ahead and stop it right there for a second. Again, the green line is five seconds worth of trace. If that student's screen is all over, that means he's staring at the target. He's not actually aligning his sights. If he were to using a satellite sight picture, it comes in real nice and tight right here. The next thing that you'll see is two tenths of a second prior to that shot break, that green line turns pink, showing that any movement thereafter was due to his trigger squeeze or anticipation of recoil. He had very minimal, that means he has good discipline in his trigger squeeze and handling of that weapon throughout that shot. After the shot placement, that line is gonna turn blue, showing 
his follow through and or recall management, which is also very well, stayed right on target waiting for his follow on shot. If that blue were to come off the paper or he's sitting there prairie dogging it, meaning he's looking over his sights to look at his shot placement, we can pick that apart as well. Let's look at his last shot. He comes on the paper again. He's dancing around. He's going in a nice, nice tight group. Nice side alignment side picture we can see there with the green and nice small and short pink line. Again, showing this good trigger manipulation. If it were bad trigger squeeze, it would be left and or right. If it was a bad anticipation or recoil, that pink line would be straight up and down. Therefore, outlining what that student is doing right and or wrong on the system. The next feature that we're gonna show you is a malfunction induced by the instructor. And we're gonna watch as a student actually goes through it and he has to actually function his weapon in order to clear that malfunction and get the weapon back into battery. Nick. Click. As long as that student cycles that weapon, cycles that slide on the pistol, or cycles the bolt on that rifle, it puts the weapon back in the battery, thus you can continue firing it. The good way of practicing this is by shooting multiple targets over and over and just continually inducing those malfunctions until the student learns it by muscle memory. But every time he gets that click, it's obviously a failure to fire and a malfunction. Go ahead and tap it, rack it, or whatever immediate action that you teach, have him apply it, whether it's remove the magazine, insert a fresh one, he can do so, slide that bolt, continue to fire, it puts the weapon back into battery. A great resource and tool that nobody in the market has. The Fast 100 LE comes with multiple courses of fire included into the system, whether it's law enforcement, state qualifications, and federal qualifications. As far as the marksmanship authoring comes into play, you also have the ability to create your own courses of fire. On the Fast 100 mil, it comes preloaded with multiple generic military courses of fire, as far as your zeroing, pistols, rifles, and machine guns comes forward. We also have specific courseware specifically designed for the Marine Corps, the Army, the US Air Force, and the US Navy when it comes to all of your qualification courses of fire for each one of those branches, for each one of those single weapon systems. Each course of fire will run exactly how they do in real life. So whether you start at the seven yard line, the 15, the 25, it will happen exactly that way and they can continue to fire through the each magazine reload at each yard line and continue to practice, thus allowing the students multiple repetitions in a short amount of time. The way the FATS 100 LE and the FATS 100 Bill work is for the speed and continuity of it, we can actually fire four times as fast as an event in live fire, meaning we can multiply your efforts that you do live four times faster in the virtual environment, thus giving you that round increase that cost savings and more repetition for that student equals better training. Nick, we're gonna run a course of fire here for you, which shows you the different capabilities of multiple targets and moving targets. Stand by. So the system, as you can hear the thumps, it actually registers hits on steel. You can hear the ping, hits that are a miss. You actually hear a thump when they actually hit the dirt, identifying whether it actually hits and or misses. Obviously it's a paper cardboard target. It's gonna go through, you're not gonna hear sound, but it's gonna give you the same audible feedback as it does in real life. This here's an example of the M4A1, which is the new rifle used by the US military, the US Army basically, and, and the US Air Force. It has the ambidestrous, safety selector and it has the either full auto and or three round burst depending on which one you want we can actually make that and simulate that in the virtual environment so the student again the same thing he does load his weapon make ready if you were to move that safety selector on fire or on auto he can actually sit there and shoot in that mode therefore he gets that training of firing in full auto
The last application for the FAST100 mill is our collective mode. Our collective mode allows you to use VBS by Bohemia, which stands for Virtual Battle Space Training. What's gonna happen is we're gonna, as you can see in the background, we're gonna show a virtual battle space, whether it's a defensive position, whether it's an offensive position, whether it's an attack by convoy or an ambush, we can put a team and or a squad in a position where they have to defend and or fight against an objective. On the FATS 100 mil, not only can you use the Blue Fire wireless training simulators, you can also use the light, medium, and or heavy machine guns. As you can see right here, we have our Modus 50 cal, we have our 249 Bravo, we have a Mark 19, we even have the M249 available in a wireless version. This allows the students to actually have every fit, form, and function, just like the small arms uh, in these heavy weapons as well. As you can see right here, the M249, the student will actually have to open the feed tray, sit here and actually clear the weapon system properly, actually load it in order for it to fire. He would have to then stop and or reload exactly how he does in real life, thus that one for one transfer skill from virtual to live works exactly the same. Same thing with the 50 cal right here, I'll go ahead and show you. Open the feed tray, we give you link belt ammunition as far as the 50 cals 240 and the 249 ammo. Sit here, drop it in. All of these systems also give you recoil, right? Because they're heavy, they actually contain a tether that allows the communication from, as far as data, from the weapon system to the simulator and also allows the air to sit there and cycle the actual recoil, giving you some type of um, recoil in order for you to gain sight alignment, sight picture and actually get on target. The sights work realistic as well. When you zero this weapon and you actually can go through marksmanship in a qualification mode, you can actually zero the sights onto the target and fire. When you go into any type of other range activities or our collective training, you can also sit here and fire. And if you're firing at a 500 meter target and your sights are on 200, you will miss, you will come up short. Your sights will have to be on 500 meters in order for you to get contact at 500 meters. So we replicate everything to a T to include all of your calculations. We can put them on pedestals. We can put them on their actual tripods. You can actually even put a T&E and hook it up and work your, your training on a T&E. That covers almost all of your weapons. Again, the last one that I'm gonna cover is your 249. This is our M249 in Blue Fire. As you can see, it's free and clear of any tether. This allows freedom of movement throughout your training. The 200 round drum right here contains all of the air needed for those 200 rounds. Again, same way a student would load, clear his weapon, load that belt of ammunition, close it, charge the charging handle, and fire away. He can do the same thing in our virtual simulators. Once he's done with that 200 rounds, he would unload, show clear, and go through his clearing procedures as well. That's how the M249 works. In addition to all of our small arms, light, medium, and heavy machine guns, we also have anti-tank missiles and rockets. So your AT4s, your M72 is actually wireless blue fire as well. We also have mortar systems to be able to train forward observers and or mortar sections. So as far as your medium and large mortar systems and your different round types, we can also use those in our collective mode and actually practice firing and repeating those rounds on target for your forward observer training and or your mortar section.